this is the American one that we're comparing to. Okay, I'm just gonna eat. And the American one's like the typical one that you find in like supermarkets. Watery, kind of tart. It's okay, but. <laughs> this one, it, look. I mean, look at it. It's really red. It's really, really juicy and firm and really sweet, like naturally sweet, not like the fake sweet that you can like find. It's just really good. Yeah, it's just so good. Amao strawberries are delicious. You see the whiteness from at the top compared to the Amao strawberries. All of it was red, all of it was a deep red. It was delicious. It looked delicious even by looking at it. American ones were good, but today's strawberries are absolutely fantastic. Um, definitely when you compare the American strawberries to the Japanese strawberries, the Japanese strawberries blow the American ones out of the park. And the people that put like their heart and soul into making sure that all of these like each strawberry is raised well and put together well. You can tell in the way that it's flavored because eat the packaging of the strawberries is perfectly put together so that they're not overlapping one another and everything just looks like there's so much care that's put into it and I think that's one of the things Japanese culture and the way that they do everything in My name is Sad Fateh, and I'm the chef at Paul's Cafe in the Lower East Side. I definitely feel a big difference when I'm using Amau strawberries than using the local American regular farm strawberries. It's the texture, the juicy, the water, the color, the look. It's the connection between the chef and the producer. It's like more than a love, like I gotta feel it. I gotta have chemistry with it, I would say. So, definitely, strawberries and Mao is the best. 